everybody, and welcome to North American Elite Wrestling. This is Cajun. This is the kickoff show. This is Danny Jackpot, your host. Tonight, you can call me the sunburnt Superman because I am dealing with one hell of a sunburn after the vacation that North American Elite Wrestling has been on. And making his way down the ring right now is your favorite mascot and mine. He is competing for the Brutality Championship, which is currently the held by John Agee. Is a it is a giant piece of meat. Match. It's Ribby! And he's for the now I know all you fans are wondering what's Ribby doing here. Well, Ribby has challenger. thrown out the challenge for John Agee. Also Tennessee. another man who has thrown out that challenge for John Agee is 4 foot Alien. A triple threat extreme Ribby. brutality championship rules match here tonight. Johnny D had won the brutality championship at Fusion Episode 2, Volume 2, whatever you want to call it. And now he has to defend the championship against a former brutality champion and corporate alien. And also has to defend that championship against a man making his first ever appearance in North American Elite Wrestling and possibly not his last. If he can win the championship here tonight, it is Ribby. And man, that is not a rib, everybody. That is not a rib. Well, that is a giant rib right there. But, I, but, you, but you know, that's not a rib. Because he is in the ring and it's ribby. I like his sunglasses. Ribby, he has a good chance to show the North American League Wrestling roster and its fans what he can do tonight against a man who, well, one of the men right now coming out in the ring, this man has so loud, everybody, corporate area, alien. A man who's turned his back on his fans, not just the fans, his friends, his family, corporate alien, the executive's right hand man, the executive who runs North American Elite Wrestling, who signs your contract, who signs, who signs my paychecks, who signs their paychecks, so we really can't complain. And that man just levitated over the top rope. You never know what corporate alien is capable of doing. This man could walk away the brutality champion here tonight, corporate alien. You could might as well consider him a monster, though. And some would say a giant piece of meat would be a monster. And you know what kind of men would love to face that kind of monsterish men? The man coming out right now, Johnny D, who is a current brutality champion, and is also currently, well, calls himself the Monster Hunter. Used to be a zombie hunter. Now he's now it's all kind of monsters. Let's not forget Johnny D. There he is making his way down the and ring introducing with the, the brutality championship from around Bismarck, his waist. He had won that championship from Mike Ballinger on Fusion pounds. Volume 2 like I had already he mentioned D. earlier. Johnny, Johnny D. D looking to defend that championship here. Johnny D is a three-time brutality champion in his own right. Is tied for the most reigns as brutality champion with two other wrestlers as Johnny D. Johnny D brutality champion, triple threat action here tonight. First fall to a finish in this triple threat match. Johnny D does not even need to be pinned to lose the brutality title in this kind of contest. And don't forget, if you're paying attention to North American Elite Wrestling on Twitter, if you're not following them on twitter.com slash NAEW2020, you need to follow Cawvasion on Twitter, twitter.com slash Cawvasion, C-A-W-V-A-S-I-O-N. Cawvasion is happening here. The summer of 2020, North American Elite Wrestling is going to host Cawvasion. Already confirmed for the event, XGWL, OPW, NCWL, all that and more at Cawvasion. But right now, this triple threat match is about to get underway. And the bell's already rung. The triple threat is underway. Johnny D, Russian leg sweep, the corporate alien knocks him down right now. Big insiguri by the brutality champion Johnny D as this triple threat match is underway. And Ribby, the man, the giant piece of meat. I don't know how big the man under the Ribby mascot costume is, but he's a giant bear hug applied to Johnny D, who Johnny D and Corporate Alien both also compete in the junior weight division. I don't know how much Ribby weighs in at, and I don't want to ask, but Ribby with a big. Uh, Headbutt <laughs> and then Ribby taking down Corporate Alien. What if Ribby walks away as our brutality champion? Everybody here tonight in North American League Wrestling. God, that could be brutal. And now Ribby stomping away on Johnny D, but Johnny D up to his feet. Big bicycle kick by Johnny D, knocking down the giant slab of meat that is a mascot known as Ribby. I believe that we are in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Here's a nine big kick by Johnny D, knocks down the giant piece of meat. And I know that's not a giant piece of meat, 
The question is, is that actually an alien though in the ring? Some say that's a disguise. I believe that's an actual art alien. I believe that's an extraterrestrial life form in the ring. I'm not sure though. I'm Danny Jackpot. Who knows? Corporate alien. Big American whip. Corporate alien now. Big Russian leg sweep. Corporate alien. Oh, gets attacked from behind by Johnny D. Uh, the monster hunter now, Johnny D with a big snap mirror on the corporate alien. Now going after the giant piece of meat with that forearm of his own. Johnny D now with the super kick party. Corporate alien though with the Russian leg sweep on the Johnny D. Johnny D is down in the ring. Brutality championship is on the line. One. Oh, and Corporate Elliot only gets one with that count right there. Ruby is down on the outside of the ring. Corporate Elliot now with his headlock on to Johnny D. Johnny D up to one knee, though. Johnny D trying to fight off here. Johnny D now. Johnny D. Oh, nice big brain buster onto the knee. Ruby's got a baseball bat, though. And oh, Corporate Elliot able to kick out at two. Ruby, Ruby throws down the. Baseball bat. All three men up to their feet now in this brutality championship triple threat. Oh, that side effect like maneuver. You're in sales. You're in Nagi onto the baseball bat, Corporalian. Well, only two. Johnny D able to break it up here on the kickoff of Cage in the brutality championship on the line. Ribby making Johnny D go for some kind of ride right there. Corporate alien. Big. Big cutter by Corporate Alien. That giant move. One, two, three. The man from you, Area 51, Corporate Alien, has just won the Brutality Championship here on Cage Ends Kickoff Show. Are you kidding me? Johnny D, not even involved in the decision to lose his. Brutality Championship here. As the giant piece of meat, Ribby, a man who is making a guest appearance here in North American Elite Wrestling, falls victim to Corporate Aliens, UFO Cutter. Uh, something better named will come up, I'm sure. I don't know. But the UFO Here's Cutter by Corporate Alien. W. has won him the Brutality Championship for the second time in his career. Corporate Alien is bringing the Brutality Championship home to the corporation. And wait a second, this was not scheduled for the kickoff show. This is Ottawa making his way down in the ring, everybody. Ottawa, who was not scheduled for the kickoff show, making his way down in the ring right now. We've seen Ottawa lose to Amir Barnes on a great showing on volume to a fusion. And Ottawa's in the ring. And what does Ottawa, what's Ottawa here for? I know he doesn't have a match. Corporate alien and gotten out of here. he had said I can't even believe it the suffering of him and his people is, has gotten Ottawa it, it, it deserves Ottawa a shot at a championship here in North American League Wrestling how, do, how does he assume that I don't understand what does he mean that Ottawa deserves a chance for a championship and I'm not disagreeing a Native American champion in North American League Wrestling would be a great thing, but not that way, Ottawa. And Ottawa's saying that he's gonna put pain on the people until he gets that championship shot? What could Ottawa possibly mean? What, what, what does Ottawa mean by his words? And do you believe his words? I don't know. But Silver Prince making his way down the ring right now. Silver Prince, and this match is straight out of the former ITF the independent training facility if you all remember that one the ITF these two teams have competed for the ITF Tag Team Championship before uh, five years ago I believe that was now we see Silver Prince now we're gonna see Amir Barnes 
these two teams, these two men have teamed up before as a gypsy go. Let's not forget that a gypsy go, Amir Barnes and Silver Prince, they're going to take on the tag team of Daniel Morgan Incognito. Both these teams are former ITF tag team champions in their own right back when ITF had existed. Both, all four of these men no longer in the independent training facility. Now on the main roster here in, in NCAW. As Amir Barnes making his way down the ring right now. I had just mentioned earlier that Amir Barnes defeated Ottawa, who had just came in and interrupted the show, was not scheduled to compete, not scheduled to be here tonight. Ottawa making his intentions known that he wants to be a champion here in North American League Wrestling. I don't know if that's going to happen for him anytime soon, but I don't know what he means when he says he's going to inflict pain on the people until he gets that, gets that opportunity. As Amir Barnes making his way down the ring right now, Amir Barnes, a former WWE Universal Champion. Amir Barnes, deadly, a man who competed in Egyptian death matches in the independent circuit before making his way into the CAW world. Amir Barnes. Some would call him the Egyptian Pharaoh. He's had a chance to team with Silver Prince here tonight. And I, I can see the fans not too big behind Amir Barnes. They were a little bit behind Silver Prince. That's that Latino heritage, you know, that strong, even up here in Canada. As these two, as these two men get to take on the tag team of Daniel Morgan and Incognito, as I mentioned before, is Daniel Morgan makes his way down the ring. Daniel Morgan, we've seen in North American League Wrestling here in a short while. It's competed for the Junior Weight Championship in a losing effort. Daniel Morgan is a former ITF Heavyweight Champion also. Daniel Morgan had done that on three different occasions. Daniel Morgan, is he, if he's competing in the Junior Weight Division, if he's competing against anyone, Daniel Morgan is a real threat. A former boxer, current wrestler is Daniel Morgan. And you can see these Canadian fans are behind Daniel Morgan as most fans are. Daniel Morgan. And as Daniel Morgan and Incognito is about to make their way down the ring right now. Or uh, is about to make his way make his way down the ring right now. I would like to remind everybody that these two men do stand for the Black Lives Matter movement. They, and they have asked me to mention that on air, that what's going on in Minneapolis. They don't stand behind the looting, but they understand it. And in North American League Wrestling, we are also the same. In North American League Wrestling, we are behind the Black Lives Matter movement. That is our profile picture on Twitter right now. These two men who are behind that movement also. It is time to really make sure that just, just like in North American League Wrestling, just like in, in a lot of the world now, not in all of the world, but in a lot of the world, that race is not, does not matter what you do, what, what, it doesn't matter what you say, it's, it's who you are as a person, it's your skill, it's your techniques, it's what you've grown up believing, it's what you are as a person, not who you are as a person, the race does not define you, and North American League Wrestling believes that, incognito, the superhero of North American League Wrestling, a superhero to not just me, a superhero to all these North American League Wrestling fans, and this match, I'm excited about the main event here on the kickoff edition of Caged In, don't forget, on the Caged In main card, we're going to have every match held inside that steel cage that's hanging above our heads right now. It's going to be lowered, and once it's lowered, it's probably not going to be risen back up until the end of the night. Daniel Morgan, Silver Prince, the two legal men in this matchup, and I must go over the North American League Wrestling cage and card. Let's not forget the main event, Nate Ferry, the North American League Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, defends his championship against Triple Threat, against Chris Snyder and Monster Messiah. Tonight, we're going to see both sets of tag team championships on the line. With the All-American, or, or the United States Tag Team Champions, Biff Andreas and Kyle Lex, Alex Snow, will take on the winners of the poll on Twitter, Nick Gemini and Sean Dynasty of the Comic-Con. Speaking of the Con Con, Evan O'Shea will defend his championship in a triple threat against El Vano and Billy Bowers. Also, the others of the tag team titles will be on the line, as I've mentioned, the Canadian Tag Team Championship, as Damage Gage will be challenged by the Samurai Dragons. The Samurai Dragons, the new NAW, four years ago, had defeated the Damage Gage for Tag Team Championship. Will this happen again? All that and more on the North American Elite Wrestling card. We got Extreme Tony. 
He's in the building tonight. He will take on. I mean, not Extreme Tony. I'm sorry. I, I, I mean, Extreme Tony will take on Aussie Andy, all that and more. The winner of the Extreme Tony Aussie Andy match will be the number one contender for the All American Championship, which Smokey holds at our next pay per view. As Daniel Morgan and Amir Barnes, the two legal men in the matchup. Don't forget also tonight the Divas Champion. Rachel Cross will team up with Lilith. The Vix, the Vixful Vengeance will take on Alexander Marie and Denise Parkinson in a match that they've been waiting for to get revenge on the two. They're supposed to compete at, at the last show collision course. That did not happen due to a sneak attack by the Vixful Vengeance. Getting their chance in this course in the Steel Cage match, the very first ever Steel Cage Beatles match here at North American League Wrestling. Incognito, big move to Amir Barnes main event of cage and takeoff show spin wheel kick oh but Amir Barnes able to reverse it but a draw kick by Incognito the speed of Incognito show being shown here tonight tags in Daniel Morgan now Daniel Morgan oh wait a second getting caught by Amir Barnes Amir Barnes pump handle overhead suplex by Amir Barnes almost like a throw right there and Amir Barnes now tags in Silver Prince. Amir Barnes was victorious over Ottawa in his last appearance in North American League Wrestling. Silver Prince lost a battle royal the last time we had seen Silver Prince. Big DDT by Daniel Morgan, the former wrestler turned, and the former boxer turned wrestler once again, as I've mentioned. Daniel Morgan now picks up Silver Prince. And this has been a great tag team matchup so far. It's big gut buster by Daniel Morgan being delivered on the Silver Prince. Now tagging in Incognito. Interesting fact about this matchup. Incognito and, 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 and Silver Prince are both former ITF television champions in the ring right now. Daniel Morgan and Amir Barr are former ITF heavyweight champions. They had a long in ITF that is being a little bit revisited here tonight. Oh, Beer Barnes almost broke into the CAW world. Was a big thing with Daniel Morgan on Manny's face tonight. Northern Light suplex by Silver Prince right there. And now Silver Prince. Oh, arm drag right there. Deep Mexican arm drag by Silver Prince. Silver Prince now with an Irish whip. God damn, a hip toss by Silver Prince. Falls into the cover. One, two. Only gets two low on Incognito. Incognito, the superhero of North American League Wrestling. A man we had just seen compete for the Junior Weight Championship in a losing effort. Or a, yeah, in a losing effort for the Junior Weight Championship. Incognito with a big crucifix. Incognito now picking up. Antonio, and and pick, up, pick up Silver Prince, Antonio Rodrigo, his real name, Silver Prince's ring name. Big backbreaker by Silver Prince. Silver Prince now stomping on. Incognito right here in the corner of Egyptico. Egyptico, a really great tag team. Amir Barnes and Silver Prince, two great singles wrestlers with former tag team over a feud with Daniel Morgan Incognito. Again, a lot of history being revisited here in this matchup. Incognito with that suplex only gets one on Amir Barnes, and I think it's going to take a lot more than that to defeat the man, uh, the, the Egyptian pharaoh, Amir, Amir Barnes. And big elbows by Incognito taking the fight to Amir Barnes right now. Tagging in Daniel Morgan. As I've mentioned before, these two men have feuded for the ITF Heavyweight Championship in the past. Now here in North American League Wrestling. Big back suplex by Amir Barnes. And Amir Barnes, 6'3", six, six 260 pounds, just a scary athlete. Daniel Morgan, much smaller weight at 6'1", at, at six, at but at 219 pounds. Not as buff, not as thick as as Amir Barnes. And the referee being taken down there, but back up to his feet, luckily. 
As Daniel Morgan reverses some kind of back suplex, there's a back suplex of his own. Daniel Morgan now with the cover on Amir Barnes. One, and Amir Barnes kicking out at one once again. It's gonna take a lot more than that. And you can see like the boxing like boots of Daniel Morgan showing that he's a former boxer. We're also with those, we're also with those, just hands wrapped up. As he's gonna tag in his partner Incognito. Incognito now. Arm dragging Amir Barnes able to stop whatever Amir Barnes had planned there. Now going behind Amir Barnes. What's he got planned here? Going for some kind of hurricane. Rana nails it. Incognito now. Going to the top rope. He could be looking for the brightest day. We've seen him nail this before, but no, Amir Barnes is back up to his feet. And I think Incognito might have been looking for that brightest day. Jaw bigger by Amir Barnes now. And Amir Barnes now, oh, just two giant strikes taking down Incognito. The strength of Amir Barnes is scary. Amir Barnes now tags in Silver Prince. Silver Prince picks up Incognito. What's he going for here? Big giant maneuver. One, two. It only gets two with that toxic shock right there. Silver Prince. And as I mean told, that's the silver bullet he calls that. Only got two, the silver bullet for Silver Prince only gets him two. As Incognito now goes with a cover after some move here. One, two, only gets two on Silver Prince. This tag team matchup, the main event here of Cajun Kickoff Show. The reason why it's not in a steel cage is because not every match can be in a steel cage. This is a kickoff show. We want to let you guys know what's going on here soon. That 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 every match is soon about to be held in a steel cage. And if you think this match is great, as as, as Silver Prince the cover too. Oh, it only gets two. As Silver Prince the cover. If you think all these matches are great, wait till it's all in a steel cage. Can you imagine if this match was surrounded by a steel cage? And this is just a kickoff show. Not to take anything away from these four great athletes. Incognito once again with a hurricane runoff. Silver Prince is down in the ring. Incognito going to the second rope. What's he going to do here from the second rope? Going for that flip, that senton ball from the second rope. Incognito now. Ball going for some kind of schoolboy, I think. As, but Silver Prince trying to roll all the way. Nailing him with that big kick behind the ear, though. Silver Prince is down one. Two, and Amir Barnes breaks it up just in the nick of time. Can't even believe that. As, as, wait a second, Silver Prince able to reverse some kind of head scissors that Incognito was going for. Incognito now, wait a second, Silver Prince reverses. Oh, but he catches an elbow by Incognito. Incognito now with a big kick to the midsection. Incognito going for a sunset flip bomb. Nails it. But he does, but he can't capitalize here as this match is taking his toe out on Incognito also. Finally able to get into the cover. One, two, but no. Silver Prince able to get his shoulder up at two. And this has been a great matchup here. A great tag team matchup. And this is it. this has got to be doing great for all four of these men in the in the title reigning contention. If you're looking for tag team gold or single gold, wait a second. Incognito with the with the tornado DDT. Will this be it? With the, now he struck that superhero like pose. Almost reminds me of the Superman himself. As crucifix driver once again by Incognito on Silver Prince. Silver Prince in a bad way here, Incognito. Picks up Silver Prince now. Oh, as soon as I say something, no, Silver Prince able to reverse. Silver Prince with a giant strike. Another giant strike. And a giant DDT by Silver Prince. Has Incognito down. One, two, and Daniel Morgan breaks it up at two. And that might have been it for the tag team of Incognito and Daniel Morgan. Silver Prince, though, the veteran. Competed in over a decade of CAW as Silver Prince now. Incognito now, snap there though. 
big kick to the back of Silver Friends. Goes into the cover, will this be it? Daniel Morgan trying to fight off Amir Barnes too, but no! Silver Prince kicks out. Oh, big move by Daniel Morgan onto the, the, the reverse city key onto the knee of Amir Barnes. And now tossing Amir Barnes out of the ring. Incognito. What's he going for here on Silver Prince? Oh, giant neck breaker, rolling neck breaker by Silver Prince. I mean by Incognito on the Silver Prince. And a giant leaping knee strike by Incognito. Silver Prince in a real bad way here. And oh, a rainmaker delivered by Incognito. This has got to be it. One, two, and Silver Prince somehow kicks out. The resiliency being shown by Silver Prince is nothing to be impressed by. Is nothing short of impressive, I should say. This match is amazing. Daniel Morgan once again keeping Amir Barnes out of the ring. Oh, and Incognito with that big move. Silver Prince able to roll out of the way though. Incognito went crash and burn. Silver Prince now attacking Incognito. Amir Barnes trying to get back in this matchup with the referee trying to get some order in this matchup finally. And wait a second, once again, Incognito with that sunset foot bomb. Cover, one, two, three, and oh my God, this match is over. Silver Prince shed a great showing. Amir Barnes trying to do everything he could for his team with the tag team of Incognito, the tag team of Daniel Morgan. Those two men victorious here tonight over Silver Prince and Amir Barnes, a great tag team victory. And if you don't think these two teams just w went out there and gave it their all for you guys here in the kickoff, you're wrong, because they did. A great effort shown by Daniel Morgan and Incognito, the winner tonight. Respect for Amir Barnes and Silver Prince as this is Danny Jackpot reminding you to be, for the, be there for the Cajun show. Good fight. Good night.